What's good, YouTube? This is going to be my reaction to Superman and Lois Season 3, Episode 2. After last week's season premiere, I gotta say, I'm all hyped for the season. It's got me very intrigued. The inner gang group, very intriguing. I'm curious to see what they're about. Also, shout out to Chad Coleman, aka Tyrese from The Walking Dead. Can't believe I didn't recognize him. It's just been so long since he's been on the show, so, and since I've seen him on there. And there's the whole messing with Superman's, like, hearing or mind. I don't know if they're making him hallucinate. I have no idea. It's, it's got me very confused. What has me the most curious and very, like, concerned is the whole idea that we thought Lois was pregnant and now she might not be. I think, I hope they expand on it a little bit more in this episode. We're gonna just find out, uh, jump right into it and see, so let's check Check it out. Jumping right into it. Oh, okay, so we're gonna find out. This is tense. Oh, so scary. Gosh, could you imagine? Oh, it's just so stressful. Uh, oh, it don't look good, man. It don't look good. Wow, that was. That's a very powerful opening. Any excuse to take the car. Oh, says the guy who jumps at every chance he can to fly. You have to save lives. Oh, all save right, lives. all right, you can go. Please go. Hey, <laughs> the moment it gets dark, Love that truck better be parked back in the driveway. Look, I know we haven't really had a chance to talk about what happened with the pregnancy. Clark, that's all it was, a fantasy. Our lives are full enough already. Cal <laughs> also had a villa in Bali. Rumors he bought it off Michael Bay. That is not what? a selling point. Okay. <laughs> Come, Come on, on I know that's you not know true. You must have had at least one. But you actually found him? And he's throwing a party. Matt, his house is insane. <sighs> we have to go to this party. I am making a sacred vow of friendship to be your wing woman. Wing woman? Come on, you can finish your homework tomorrow. What are you guys doing later? Not, not like ask you to hang out. <laughs> if, if you want to, we, we can, but. Uh... Well, actually, we're... it's kind of a girl thing. Oh, poor Jordan. <laughs> Riddle me this. Riddle me this. I can handle it, Judge Clark. Don't you think this calls for a classic Lois Lane Clark Kent team up? Oh, let's like go. Like the time you took down those guys with the Green Horse Inn for money laundering? No. Oh, you mean the time you forgot to turn the tape recorder on? One time. Oh. Just one time that happened. <laughs> Come on. Every time. Where are the paper clips? Tell me about the party. Will there be boys there? Uh, oh. yes. Alcohol? Maybe. But I won't be drinking any. Who's driving? Sarah. And she won't be drinking any either. Yeah, and how would you wait? We home by midnight, okay? Okay. Hello, George. Mama. Oh, thank God. I, I need you to listen to me. Please, oh. please listen. I made a big mistake. They about to kill him off? Uh, what the fuck? George, George, are you okay? Can you hear me? Oh, I'm pretty sure he's George. not okay. Oh, shit. Hello? Well, that's not good. Actually, we want to ask you a few questions about Henry Miller. Uh -oh. Some crazy party going down in Metropolis. There's gonna be like 500 kids, dude. We should go. Eternals, right? Yeah, there you go. So we just skipped right past the uh, whole getting to know each other formalities, huh? What the fuck? Oh. Thank you for boy. your time, Chief Cushing. Yeah, sure. Always an awkward situation. Hey, hold up. Yeah. Let's find Travis. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Context oh. of that one's pretty clear. Yeah. yeah uh, and you brought your brother. You wouldn't mind if we talk. Oh, no, what the minute, fuck? You? That's bogus. Sure. On it. No, seriously. Oh my. Persistent wing woman right there. Okay. Oh my goodness. Matchmaker over here. Uh, Mateo, this is Natalie. Not this is Mateo. Hi, I'm I'm Jordan. <laughs> Cause you're making any more awkward, Jordan? Oh no! Oh, oh my and God, that's I'm even so worse. I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm I'm really sorry. I mean, you really ain't gonna beat his ass, but. Jordan, are you aware that Henry Miller not only survived months after his release, but had also displayed superpowers? He was the one fighting Superman in Hobbs Bay. The damage he caused is in the tens of millions. Your Honor, are you all right? Yeah, she knows something. I said all I can. This interview's over. What? I'm sorry? You need to leave. Don't touch me. Ah, uh, it's all types of sketchy. You ever gonna tell me? About what? 
Harry's closed. It's a smoothie place now. Here, I got you a banana bedlam. What did you think I was talking about? Nothing. No, I'm just trying to figure out who sent that fixer. I know something's bothering you. It's not just this case. Whenever, if ever, you're ready to talk about it, I'm here for you. We're a team. Best one I know. Uh, so that's gonna be crushing. Abby used to give me nightmares too. Mm -hmm. When I was 11. Oh, <laughs> you are <Yeah>. brutal. <laughs> I really wish you never left Met High. What? Yeah. I was only there for a day. <laughs> I know. I know, and I asked around about you, but. You never came back. You just became this mystery girl I never thought I'd see again. I'm here now. <laughs> I don't have to be a mystery anymore. What do you want to know? You're the first guy I've ever dated that I've wanted to stay friends with. This is completely new for me, too, and I'm really sorry if I made you feel like you have to walk on eggshells around me. Kind of that way around everybody. But not around yeah. your close friends, and that's that's what I want to be. She wants then to be your so. Lana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Beer bong. Can you drive here? Yeah, but I bet these Metropolis bros won't mind us playing with water cups if we put a little money on the line. Uh oh. Uh. Sarah's in Metropolis. Thank oh, you. I thought she had your permission. No. Uh oh. She I just finished cooking. Okay, if if you're hungry. I uh, uh, bothered you enough. I already prepped the wild mushroom tortellini. She's like, Kyle never made tortellini. Oh, no. And then you asked me about Henry Miller. I knew it was the day I was going to die. Wow, that's pretty fucked up. I apologize. I will revisit this later, Mr. Orr. Oh. Superman! Wow, called his ass. What do you want? Ooh. Some answers, but... Like being the head of Intergang? It's a rumor that never dies. No matter how many times I try to kill it. Mm. And now you stand here in my home, accusing me of what? Playing Dr. Frankenstein? I still haven't heard you yeah. tonight. It's here, in my part of Metropolis. I'm the hero, not you. Please let me help you! Oh my god. Proud of small one. Like, have, have you heard that anywhere before? But I have read it. Oh. The town seal in my office, the pride oh. of Smallville. Excuse me, I've, I've, I've got a girlfriend. Eh. Eh. I won't tell anyone if that's what you're worried about. Oh my gosh. I made a mistake. I'm so sorry. Oh, Get moving, I'm beer bitch. Start. Oh. You're smart, funny, and like model level gorgeous. Oh, look I mean, at this. Must be These two are just the hitting it off. <laughs> Now's your chance. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, I have no. to go. Just don't, don't ruin the moment. Uh oh. Uh oh. Right in the face. Right in the face. Damn. Here's your beer, bitch. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Uh oh. What's, they know. It's what I heard right before Dean was killed. What the fuck is it? It's just like a supersonic blast. Ah, gosh. Look at that. Ah, oh, great. We ain't even gonna see what's on it. I watch people like Lex Luthor. And Morgan Edge become billionaires. Ooh. While my community was choked. So I became the person they looked to. I gave my people hope. The whole time you've been on this planet, you haven't changed a damn thing. Damn. I saved people's lives. Not here, you didn't. What's coming for me? It's uncontrollable. I know what that feels like. Paralyzed. Facing something uncontrollable. I just found out I have cancer. Ah, uh, come on. And it's aggressive. I've been trying to hang on to hope. But it's really oh. hard because I'm really scared. The only way 
To take back control is to fight. Didn't want you to look at me like I was sick. <laughs> oh man. We are gonna get through this together. Gosh, that is just heartbreaking. You froze his heart? That's oh, awesome. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> oh my What's going on? Just Boys, you need to sit down. I was just diagnosed with stage three inflammatory breast cancer. Oh. Lois. Oh, such a such a heartbreaking episode. Gosh. Alright, well, if I can uh if I can stop these tears from coming, we can get through this review real quick. Oh, what a heartbreaking episode. I mean, I, I thought we would get into it. I didn't expect to get so emotional. I mean, my goodness. It's definitely one of the most heartbreaking things that you can that you can go through. And like a storyline like this for a character like Superman who is so powerful and can do so much, but you can't stop that. To try to make things a little more positive, let's uh, talk about, like, say, Natalie. I really love that she seems to be kind of, you know, melding into the world more. Like, she's she feels like she's coming out a lot more. She's uh, settling down. She's trying to enjoy life. So it's nice to see her get out and do that kind of stuff. And with Sarah and Jordan, I enjoy that they kind of were able to talk and discuss things out. And they were finally able to become, like, friends now. So that was cool, seeing Bond in kind of a way like that, playing beer pong, dominating, taking some money. So that was awesome to see. Didn't expect to get the Jonathan storyline in here with his uh, girlfriend. It's kind of, you know, you can kind of see the parallels. Like, he kind of appreciates the girl he's with now. I like to see that he stayed loyal, and I enjoy that he didn't just, like, fall back into that. He kind of just appreciated what he has and where he is now. Ended up having the mayor die. That was pretty crazy. I thought he would end, I thought we would lose him this season. I didn't think it would be this soon, though, so... That was a little shocking. Seems like Lana and John are hitting it off a little bit. So who knows if they'll end up together. I'm not too sure. I know Kyle will probably just lose his mind over it. I just love uh, Chad Coleman's performance in here. It's just so fun to see him. Uh, good old Tyrese from The Walking Dead, like I said in the beginning. It's just so cool to see him in this kind of role. Like He is doing so awesome, and I just love like the intimidation that he tries to impose on uh, Superman as he's standing there. Like it's just, he has a, the presence he has is so awesome. And I love his like delivery and his dialogue. Such an awesome uh, performance so far. But when it comes down to it, uh, this episode really was just surrounded by the emotional aspect of everything that we have just kind of found out with Lois. And shout out to Bitsy Tula because she is doing so good when it comes to those emotional performances. I mean, it is heartbreaking to see her deliver those lines and see her like get so emotional in the face and tear up and it just She's doing a wonderful job so far. I thought it was a very well done episode though, and I am just so far engaged and ready for the ride that this season three is gonna take us on. Let me know down below if you enjoyed the episode and what you liked most about it. And if you enjoyed my reaction, please hit the thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And if you wanna see more of my videos, just go ahead, subscribe, and I will catch you in those. Until then, take it easy.